Bro Show. Have a day, super day, bro nation. Welcome to another episode of the Bro Show where we talk about everything and anything and try to make sense of what's happening. Usapan tropa para sa yung barkada. The Bro Show is being brought to us by Evia Natural Spring Water. Water the way nature intended. Balanced, pure, and clean. Drinking water in every bottle. The Bro Show is also being brought to us by Jack in the Box. Breakfast all the way, breakfast all the time. And the Medical City, where patients are partners. For your next visit to the Philippines, call the Medical City Referral Office sa 988-8 Six two seven. Choose Philippines. Choose the medical city. My name is DJ Dudes, your true Manila man, and I am with the Bro Four, starting with the world famous Lalagukan, the Professor Matt Lester <laughs> Mattel. Good morning, Prof. Good morning, DJ Dudes. Half a day sa ating mga tagapakinig. We are again graced by Vlog Royalty o itong mother and daughter tandem na to. So magandang umaga sa ating kapakinig and back to you, DJ Dudes. And to complete our Triforce, kapangyarihan ng tatlong puyo, pinag-isa, the wired man, Mr. Bajo Molina. <laughs> Ginawa na naman akong trifecta nitong ni Dudes. Hey, good morning, Dudes. Good morning, Prof. And to all the listeners of The Bro Show dito sa Guam and all over the world, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. At tama yung sinabi ni Prof kanina, we are blessed with the presence of a mother-daughter tandem. We're such a closely knit group in Talent Center at that time that we consider ourselves family already. So I'm so excited to have them here in our show. And dudes, ikaw na ang bahala. Thank you, Tito Bojo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Our guests for today are combinations of so many good things, beauty, talents, fashion, love and care for culture and our environment. A bright young entrepreneur, Miss Kali Ami. Kali, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. <laughs> thank you for having us here. Oh, we are so happy to have you. Thank you. Uh, thank you sa time. At syempre, thank you sa mga isi-share mo sa ating listeners at sa ating uh, mga viewers. And of course, kasama ni Kali, ang kanyang super beautiful mom. One of the most delightful personalities in Philippine show business. Idol sa hosting, idol sa acting, idol na mami. Miss Dimples Romana. Miss Dimples, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning po sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. I am so thrilled to be here today um, with you and with Kali. Uh, I can't wait to share with you and to be able to talk to you today. Namiss ko din ang aking kuya, Bojo. At syempre, nice meeting you, the professor and DJ dudes. Thank you for having us. At uh, before we get to our fast talk and quickest with the bros, meron lang akong question kay Ms. Dimples at kay Ms. Kali. Uh, Ms. Dimples, how would you describe your relationship to Kali? Ako siguro, I'm a very, kasi I'm medyo strict as a mom. Especially mm. when it comes to school, no? Parang um, when it's time for uh, teaching my children, uh, Kali and now Alonzo, the habit of studying, of reading, diyan medyo strict ako dyan. But it, when it comes to um, nurturing one's gifts, you know, finding your own path, I'd like to think I'm very uh, lenient, very, um, you know, I give freedom for my children to uh, find whatever it is that they are most passionate about and, you know, finding ways on how I can guide them through uh, the basic, you know, things that they tell me that they want to do. Like for Kali, as you can see, she's very reserved and I'm sure my Kuya Bojo will say na, obviously, hindi sa akin naman na ang pagiging reserve ng bata. <laughs> diba, Kuya? Kasi baka ako yung pinakamadaldal sa batch namin. Mm-mm. Thank you, Kuya, for the courtesy. Salamat for not saying anything i i uh, i uh, i appreciate you well not saying anything and <laughs> pero ako kasi yung pinakamadaldal sa batch namin and um Kuya Bojo and I, we go a long way um, because when it was ano, um, Talent Center and now Star Magic, no, um, I think if I'm not mistaken, Kuya, I'm so sorry, bubusina na ako. I was 12 years old and now I'm 36. So, alam mo, if there's anything we are proud about, Kuya Bojo and I don't look like our age. Diba naman, yes, Kuya? Yes. Diba? Oy, that's so, naman. True. And because we're very, I think it goes with, because we're very lighthearted as people and we're really you know we like to you know appreciate life simple things and stuff so skykali i'm more that 
parang mas ano ako sa kanya like I, as a parent I always acknowledge that my children will not go the same path as me and I respect that parang I in fact I encourage it very much I always uh, let my children as young as two three years old have the ability to express themselves whether it is through actions or through words but basically for Kali it was a little bit challenging because she's she was a very quiet child and even until now pero kasi that doesn't mean that she's not also as creative and as um kumbaga, as efficient it's just that she works very quietly no so medyo may effort lang for me to ask her medyo mas may for example ang i remember when she was smaller i would plan her weekends kasi yun lang yung wala akong taping and i will put kunare two two different kinds of activities. I will put a book in front of her or maybe a set of art materials and whichever she will go to, that gives me the inkling na, ah, ito pala yung mas gusto niyang gawin. Parang ganon. So, that's the kind of relationship that Kali and I have. Galing wow. naman. Sarap naman. Super rich answer. Thank you so much, Miss Dimples. Now, we're going to dig a little deeper. We do have this uh, fast talk, okay? Our quick is with the bros and uh, the professor will uh, handle this uh, fast talk with uh, Miss Dimples and Miss Kali. Prof, Take it away. Thank you, DJ. Since this is a different edition, this is what we call the mother and daughter edition. Unang beses natin gagawin to. Try nyo sabay magbigay ng answer, okay? First question, ito yung unang pinupuntahan sa mall pagkapasok na pagkapasok sa entrance. Restaurant. Food stall. <laughs> the same. The same. The same. Okay. Okay. Matatakaw kasi. <laughs> Kain. <laughs> Food aficionados. Okay. Yeah. Just we know that pareho sila dyan. Second question. Bagay na di nawawala sa bag bukod sa wallet. Grocery. Book. Oh, okay. Answers, <laughs> ha? Pero totoo yun. Si Kali talaga has a book in her bag, ah. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I always tell her, Kali, ang labo-labo na ng mata mo, kakabasa mo. And it's fascinating for, uh, I would say, teens in her generation, mm-hmm. di ba? Normally, wala nang libro. Normally, nasa yeah. tablet na lang yan. But uh, iba, tal- iba ang kinalakihan talaga ni Kali. First, celebrity crush. Oh, Here's Brosnan. <laughs> Here's Brosnan. Wala yun ang diferensya nung edad no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Here's get, Brosnan. Kali, you had... What was the answer of Kali? <laughs> Sean Mendes. Sean Mendes. Sean Mendes. Sean Mendes. Bayan Kali, napapaghalata na mali. Yeah, fourth question. Ano ang pagkain hindi mo matake ang amoy? Wala. Durian. <laughs> oh. Durian. Okay. Wala daw si Durian. Durian. Well, ako rin hindi ko kaya ano. durian, pero parang kasi, I've grown a liking kasi si Boyet loves durian eh. My husband. Oh, like talaga? Wow. Mm. He eats a lot kasi of durian. I, baka mom's nom to it na, but like me and Ate V are <laughs> kasambahay at home. She doesn't, she gets mad whenever dad has durian <laughs> in the freezer. <laughs> Ito, the last question. Saan pinaglihi si Kali? One. Ay, Nata de coco. Okay. Now wow. let's ask Kali. Kali, alam mo ba kung saan pinaglihi si mami mo? I was about to say, oh no. Uh, no, she didn't. She never. She's never told. Me. Alimang ako. Alimang. Oh. Alimang. So anyways, tuloy na natin muna. Of course, start ko na muna kay Dimples kasi mas mas uh, mas kilala namin yung isa't isa eh, no after kadayan ng ginto and after all the projects uh what's what's uh what's the new thing for you to uh, look forward actually this coming 2021 Well, Kuya, our uh, sitcom is now airing. It's called Oh My Dad. Um, I'm here with Kuya Ian Veneracion, Sue Ramirez, Adrian Lindayag, Luis Abuelno, and um, Sinikita Gloria Diaz. It's airing every Saturday. But Sinatay Lauren has already called upon me to start our teleserie. This was uh, supposed to be shot last July pa, last year pa. We're finally gonna start rolling um, end of February, I think, uh, or first week of March. So these are the things that I that's going to keep me very busy in the coming weeks. Uh, that's, our family also likes to vlog a lot, uh, whether branded or non-branded. Um, we share a lot of things uh, that are happening in our family. Para lang pampagaang ng loob natin, no? Mm-hmm. 
daming yeah. ginagawa ni Miss Dimples. Sobrang yeah. dami. Alam mo, nakakatawa kasi we're also entrepreneurs ourselves. My husband mm-hmm. and I are into the real estate property business. So we wow. rent, lease, mga ganyan. We buy, flip. And then, uh, but also Boyet is now coming out with uh, with several partners of ours uh, for a restaurant in Singapore, Kuya. So if you wow. ever wow. come by Singapore, you let us know. Wow. And maybe, mm-hmm. maybe we'll be able to open in Guam. We'll see. Yes. Oh, naman. Yeah. Sige, sige. Yes. Yes. Ms. Dimples, <laughs> pati Kim naman, yung restaurant na uh, i-open nyo sa Singapore, uh, Pinoy cuisine ba to? Or This is actually Filmex. So uh, Filipino, mm-hmm. Mexican, some Portuguese also. So um, really with, it's a fusion, uh, but of course, because it's a Filipino-run and Filipino-founded uh, restaurant, hindi mawawala yung uh, lasang Pinoy, di ba? So uh, these will be um, food items that will, of course, have the heart of the Filipinos in it. So I'm so excited that we're actually opening in Singapore. Impressive, impressive. And thank you na may oras ka pa para naman sa show business, para lagi namin kayong nakikita. So, no, it's really my, ano, kumbaga, it's really my passion. And love. I'm actually doing also maalaalam ko kaya. I'm shooting it. Um, I think mid January. So just after our uh, vlog for Baguio and um, parang traveling in the new normal with our family. Right after that, I'm gonna go and uh, start shooting for maalaalam mo kaya. So puro ano siya drama siya, which I love kasi yun naman talaga yung pinaka pinagsimulan ko eh. Parang now lang that um. Parang we're venturing, you know, as actors, you should also always go out of your comfort zone, see how mm-hmm. you can, you know, um, start working on other genres. But at the end of the day, I always go back to my first love, which is heavy drama. Titang kita natin great. kung saan nagmana si Kali. Kali, you have your own business, the Kali brand, right? Kali the brand. And Kali, if you could just uh, tell us more about your your business naman. Kali the brand, I've been working on it for over a year and then it's just a a platform that i wanted to use to amplify the platforms that the local artisans have because i noticed naman na not a lot of people especially my age know about like rattan bags or abaca bags or banig bags and i just wanted to bring a younger perspective to these things but it's more appealing and that more people can access it through my platform Nakakatuwa. Ang galing-galing. Kanina, we were talking about because uh, Kelly is just 17 years old. Kanina, pinag-uusapan namin ni Professor at ni Kuya Bojo. Ano bang ginagawa natin no 17 years old tayo? Si Kelly may business na, di ba? Oh, And giving diba? a new twist doon sa nakagisnan nating mga mga items, mga bags na may touch ng Pinoy pero ito, meron pang touch ng new fashion and a new perspective. Professor, you do have a question? Yes, I do. Um, actually, I'm very fascinated dito kay, kay Kali. Kailan mo na-realize that you also want to be an entrepreneur? And why uh, why rattan bags? Why this particular local product uh, ka naging interesado? School just finished po kasi and I wasn't really doing anything. I felt very lazy then. I wanted to do something with my time. So I was planning to start a business na. And my dad helped me rin naman. As for the the bags, I because mom and I would always go to bazaars or fairs like Manila Fame or um, Artefino or Ma Arte Fair, and almost everyone there who's selling sells locally made and sourced products. And I really love rattan bags, and they would always come in like the circular shapes. Na it's like a sling bag or yun, it would be plain or like there was a collar. And I wanted to make a different version of that bag so that there would be something new to bring to that certain area of um, local products. But I won't be stopping with bags. I'm actually developing new collections that are also home items and furniture. So it's just not, it's not just fashion. Sobrang nakakatawa. Bodj, Professor, alam natin to na yung mga rattan bags natin, yung uh, mga bamboo bags natin, uh, ever since ganun na itsura eh. With all due respect, mm. of course, those are great looking uh, bags, di ba? Pero for the longest time, uh, after you know so many generations, hindi nag-evolve yung design natin. And now, here comes Kali giving us a new take on uh, a super iconic items sa kultura ng mga Pilipino. Bodjo? I uh, have a question with a uh, uh, two-pronged question. Uh, one for Dimples and one for Kali. Uh, Dimples, how much are you hands-on or how much are you involved on her, on her business side? 
And then to Kali, how are you taking your mom's input? Kasi minsan, millennials, iba, Pierce Brosnan versus Sean Mendes. Alam mo, yung mga ganun ba? Medyo, medyo, ma, ma, ano eh, polar opposites, diba? Diba? So, let us start with dimples first. Dimples na patawa kita sa question. You know, I always say, much as I want to take any credit for this business of Cal the brand, I have no say on it. Um, there is absolutely nothing I'm doing apart from, I guess, the encouragement. I never, you know, judge my children's pace I always feel like whatever pace they want to go through in life they may feel free to do so um, in our home we are allowed to make mistakes in our home we are allowed to we are heard I always tell her lang kuya now in whatever uh, endeavor that she does no, all her decisions will have a repercussion so she has to be very very uh, careful and she has to be mindful of um, the lives that are going to be affected by these decisions. So basically, that's the only contribution because even the money that she used is uh, part of her money when she was uh, doing uh, endorsements every now and then when she was little. Well, she is now 17. She's made many decisions for this business alone. How she's going to promote it, who is she promoting it with, what kind of designs, why does she need to adjust all these things that she has to go through as a young entrepreneur, she has gone through on her own. And we just are really at the back of it or maybe behind under it. Kung saan man kami talaga nararapat. And Boyat and I know how to place ourselves in terms of these things. Kasi uh, I want her to soar really high, Kuya. But in the same manner, I want her to keep her feet on the ground and know that whatever happens to her and to her business, she will always have a home that she can come home to and you know feel safe and love. Wow, that's Nakakatawa. very meaty. Mm-hmm. Oh, very sobra. Meaty. Para meron tayong business 101 class. At the same time, meron din tayong parenting 101 class. <laughs> uh, diba? okay. Ms. Dimples, yeah, follow-up question, okay? Um, I guess it will be a little expected kung ang naging business ni Kali, food, or for example, real estate, or something related uh, more directly sa show business. Pero napansin mo ba na meron siyang uh, talagang inclination na pagdating sa culture, especially, uh, especially ng mga Pilipino, nung bata pa siya? Oh yeah, um, Kali is very, ano kasi eh, um, Kali is an empath eh. She feels for people. So when she meets these people, no, she feels how they are what they are going through and kahit pa paano nung medyo nakakaipon-ipon na kami uh, inilabas namin si Kali and we'd, we'd bring her out nationwide na dito sa Pilipinas iniikot namin and we encourage for her to talk to the locals you know uh, be able to speak to them find out how they are what they eat what they make you know uh, put value in this uh things that may seem small but not really you know at the, the end of the day um we are the community. We have to help out one another in terms of rebuilding one another. And I think I'd point out to Kali, like, Kali, what was it like for you, like, growing up? What was the inspiration for um, Cal the brand? Why do you think it's important? Mm-hmm. Why is it, Kali? What are your thoughts? Uh, nga, there's not enough attention that's given to, especially the communities that make these products. And I feel that there really is something to be um, appreciated and it's not being appreciated enough. And I I feel that it's not a loss to me because I have this whole platform and there are a lot of people who um, look at what I do and listen to what I say. And I feel like there's no harm in using it to elevate to other people's platforms and it really is I, I really do hope that a lot more people especially people my age na they start appreciating these things like I do Nakakatuwa dun kay Kali is that she is not just uh, fond of one product it's really the, a concept and the idea because she mentioned that um, in the future you can dwell into yeah. furniture diba? which is wow. really fascinating your business is um, it's an Instagram store but you have a physical store and then how do you sell? As of now, I'm only strictly online considering mm-hmm. I can't really do anything outside of my home yet. I'm working on a website, but for now, it, I'm just on Instagram. And all you have to do is just check out the products on the feed and then just message any inquiries or the order mismo. You can just 
through DMs. And this these are these products are products that you you designed the uh, meron ka bang collection or like whenever you come up with a new product or new design you have it made and uh, you make it available online. Is that how it goes? Actually the first collection is a design that I've done with someone because I really I really set up Calva brand to be a collaborative brand and not just the signs that I make. Maybe I could do collaborations with bigger brands and reach more people. How is it? How is your household though? Uh, as in, I know you mentioned that uh, impossible a while ago that you were able to uh, see those things also na kailangan ng mga bata. Pero sometimes you tend to get so busy that uh, nagkakaroon ka ng, uh, you, you need to I don't know kung ano yung setup niyo sa bahay in terms of like, are you, when it comes to, uh, Cali's 17 already, of course, uh, nagdadalaga in ating mga sakit ng ulo, di ba? Yung mga ganun ba? So, how do you handle those uh, those things on that, that, that a normal teenager uh, goes through? There's an underlying sense of understanding ever since pa, even when it was just the three of us, me, ma, and dad na, especially then, um, dad was still doing an office job and mom was, mom, uh, when she was in the industry, na, she would have a lot of um, shows and movies and, you know, I didn't really get to see them as much. So I really, like now, I really appreciate everything that they're here. And I, the household is super fun. And like on a non-serious note, our household is like a sitcom. Genuinely, <laughs> especially when Ate B is here, it's, it really is funny here. Hindi ko alam ko anong mafe-feel ko pag magulang ka, tapos sinabi na anak mo yung bahay niyo parang sitcom. Di ba? Hindi tayo ako. Masaya yun. Hi. 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 Masaya yun pag ganun sitcom. What's behind you? Is that Spider-Man? I'm oh. not just. <laughs> That's right. Good eye, Alonso. Si Alonso has a gift for you. Alonso, you give them. Opa! 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 That's good, that's good. So, mm-hmm. so ganun, uh, what's your take naman doon that your home is like a sitcom? Parang ang sarap tuloy i-vlog ngayon yung buong bahay nyo, no? <laughs> We're a pretty um, fun bunch. I'd like to think generally we have our quirks and our ano, little things. But, um... Ano kasi kami eh, parang ayaw kasi ng asawa ko. I think because it's his leadership as well. My husband has uh, zero tolerance for celebrity uh, dito, uh, treatment. Ayaw niya. No special treatment at home just because I'm artista. There's no, walang ganun dito eh. Dito, you are a wife. You have to clean up. At if he's not here, you have to clean up. You have to help out. Um, parang lagi niya sinasabi sa akin na, Dito, you are a wife, you're a mother, so you have to be mindful of the responsibilities that come with it. So, mas ganun kami. And pagdating naman sa negosyo, si, ano, si Kali naman, we just let her ano, do her own thing. And basta hindi na papabayaan ng pag-aaral, okay lang. Good. So, na, ano, you're, you're keeping yourself grounded uh, by uh, helping each other to ground yourself, which is really Always. good as a foundation yeah. of... Of an individual and at the same time as a good uh, as a good foundation of a family. Prof, you have a, a question for them. Having experienced the lockdown, how would you say uh, has it affected your relationship as mother and daughter? I think definitely we've gotten to spend much more time than we would usually do with mom having a lot of shows and especially like no, when there was Kadena Gintopa. It was like a normal thing for mom not to be home. And, you know, there's like a system already that my dad and I have had ever since Patalaga when mom had work. And now Alonso, he's here na. And I think, Yon, we just, during the pandemic, we found a lot more stuff to bond over, especially food. <laughs> we know, <laughs> it's like dad and because mom's kapampangan, so she cooks a lot. Tapos dad pa, he's a big foodie. And, yeah, and we just generally found a lot more things to bond over and we've just found out a lot more about each other than we would if it were a normal setup. You know, I'm very grateful that we get to spend more time together. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the longest I have been with my family uh, for the 17 years we have been married, no, ni Boyet. And this is because, years? yeah, 17 years. <laughs> That's, is that when you make me? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's when we need you a lot. So. Okay. <laughs> no, but kami parang siguro ito yung pinakamatagal kasi most of my hosting jobs and the things that I have to do, I have to do at home for security and safety purposes because our Paranaque home is being constructed and re- renovated. The ATV is there. So, mm-hmm. um, it is just the four of us here in the condo and so Kali has to move. I have to move. Cali, Alonso has to pick up after himself and daddy to so uh, imagine Kali being the student the entrepreneur herself she's also um uh a normal 17-year-old having to do a lot of chores at home. So I'm just very proud that, you know, even amidst all these great opportunities coming for her, she remains grounded by, you know, doing things that should be done at home. Very basic. True. True, true, true. Actually, there's two things na gusto kong sabihin. One, na intriga na ako kung sino si Ate V. Parang gusto ko na siyang i-guest dito soon. Diba? Oo, oh, oh, masaya yun. Si- Kasi... Kasi feeling ko siya yung ano siya yung spunk doon sa sitcom house eh. Siya yung nakikita ko, di ba? Yung Daniela Mondragon. She's Tapos, the real Daniela Mondragon, sabi ni Pakali. <laughs> <laughs> siya tunay na kontrabida. <laughs> doon mo kinuha yung karakter ni ano ano ni Mondragon, di ba? Mm-hmm. Well, well, another one is uh this actually ju- ano uh debunks the myth of yung generation niya is different from us. No, it's the yes, foundation so, of the home. Um Kelly, right now uh, you started it uh, for a year, a year and a half, and give it another uh, three to five years. How do you see your business at that point? For Calda Brand, I just want there to be an expansion, and not only physically, but um, culturally, mentally, and I just really want more people to become more aware of the stuff that can be made here and is being made here. And hopefully internationally soon. I've been got, getting a lot of inquiries from like Canada, Dubai, Germany. Wow. And I really, yeah, it, it makes me happy that people from there are interested in our culture and that they're actually willing to um, make the effort to bring it from here to there. And you know, I just, maybe a physical store in a few years' time. And... Yeah, maybe I just want to reach more people. That's my goal for Calda Brand. It's very fascinating that a 17-year-old really has like a vision um, spanning five, ten years. I, we can't even think of what we were doing when we were 17. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> sure Dimples right? is very proud. <laughs> I'm super proud, mm-hmm. yes. I was just about to say, ask Dimples if she has a message for Kali um, as she basically lays out her vision for the next five to ten years. You know, I think my message for Kali, she already knows and I say this every single day and she knows this by heart already. I just always tell her that in everything that she would do um, and produce, she has to be mindful uh, not only of her self-gain but also for the gain of those who are around her. Um, at the end of the day, naman, we I think the best investment apart from investing in ourselves is really investing in good people. I feel like um, when you have good people around Around you, regardless of the distance or how long you have not spoken to one another, it will reflect on the kind of work that you do. And you know, basically, that net of love will create more opportunities, more doors opening, not only for Calde Brand but also for the communities being helped by Calde Brand. Like, oh, Professor, I'm very, very happy and glad. Look, Sir, Bo- Ay, Sir Bojo, Kuya Bojo is here. Because you told me earlier, you said Sir um, see, at the end of the day I have not seen Kuya Bojo in such a long time and yet the warmth is the same uh, I think it's very important to uh, value people uh, memorize na niya wala naman akong ibang hinihiling kundi maging uh-huh. maayos siyang makitungo at makisama sa ibang tao uh, we've, uh, we talk about your businesses, uh, the possibilities and everything. We talk about the future stuff that Dimples will be doing. And uh, right now, pinag-usapan nga natin is the most important thing is keeping everyone and making a good impression. You're a good person talaga. Yun talaga. At, at the end of the day, walang maalala sa'yo kundi kung mabuti kang tao, mabuti kang tao at masarap kang makatrabaho. Mapa sa industriya at mapa sa negosyo. When I hear these words coming from Pimpols already na, you know, mag, magkakilala kami, mag, bata pa sila eh. Bata mm-hmm. pa sila. And 
to for them to have the knowledge and uh, the experience and uh, the thinking right now is I'm very proud to say na wow mga mga younger uh, mga younger sisters ko to and at the same time um, the legacy of Dimples is being passed on to a very bright future in Cali because Cali's foundation is Dimples has a strong structure already Cali has an even stronger structure when she's growing up right now so Good job, mom, and uh, good luck to uh, to Kali on the business. Uh, I'll give mo na to Kali to promote your uh, your brand and uh, and the future projects that you're about to take. Uh, we can you can find us on Instagram at Cal the brand and Facebook, which is just Cal. And um, our first collection is almost sold out, and we're accepting pre-orders wow. now. Our next collections are coming maybe in the next few months and you can expect more fashion items and as well as home items. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Yes, <laughs> gusto ko lang pong magpasalamat sa inyo, Kuya, the professor, DJ Dudes, for having us on the show. I hope that we'll be able to come back again. Uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to, of course, speak on your platform. Gusto ko lang um, magpasalamat at mag-imbita sa lahat. So please do follow Cal the Brand at C-A-L the Brand on uh, Instagram. Cali is about to release many more collections that will hopefully um, reach more community weavers, community artisans here in the Philippines at sa lahat po ng mga kababayan natin sa Guam. Sana po ay uh, tulungan nyo kami to uh, reach more people, be able to support our uh, community artisans here in the Philippines. And I'm sure we bring uh, Filipino pride everywhere we go when we have something of Calder brand. So thank you the professor, DJ Dudes, and Kuya Bodge. No, DJ. Yeah. I love DJs. I know. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> we like DJs. <laughs> and then also Dimples uh, talk, uh, well, maybe when you come back here, we'll talk about that uh, restaurant in Singapore. Please, please, um, when you're home, when you're here in Manila, let me know. Um, maybe next time I'm open to doing another interview with you talking about, you know, our other business ventures naman. So please, please do have us again on the show. I just wanted to thank uh, Miss Dimples and Kali. I know you guys are very busy. You still took time to guest in our show. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's please support the business of, 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 of Cal. Iba talaga yung negosyong may puso eh. Ito talaga yung hindi ka na, I mean, nakakatulong ka talaga sa mga taong uh, nang nailangan at nasusuporta kang mag-grow yung industry particularly itong local natin. Kaya alam mo sa panahon ng crisis, really support local is what we really should uh, push for. So thank you very much and more power and more success to your, uh, to your business. And also on my end, uh, thank you very much for, the, for your presence here, Dimples. Maraming maraming salamat. Mahal namin kayo. And uh, of course, Guam is only three hours away from the Philippines. Yes. So anything that we can support your business, if you have online also, let us know. Uh, this is a platform that we can help you with. And uh, I like that thing that uh, Dimple said about Cali's business. Uh, it has empathy, which is really, really important mm-hmm. right now. Kasi yun ang medyo nawawala eh. Yung pagiging maalala, uh, maaalalahanan natin sa ibang tao. And uh, that's a good trait for uh, a business would thrive if you have a heart. So, yun. Dimples, I would like to uh, congratulate you on uh, raising yes. up uh, a, a very, very mm-hmm. fine mm-hmm. Woman, young woman here. Thank you. And uh, I could see her actually entering the fashion scene soon with yes. this kind of products that you had. Thank but, you. Let's, let's penetrate Asia and then the US. Because yung mga ganyan, <laughs> sasabi ko nga, yung bag mo pwede siyang collaboration with uh, a shoe brand. Pwede yes. siyang oh, yeah. I, I co-own uh, a shoe brand. It's called Godfather Shoes. So wow. perhaps we can collaborate. Yeah. Um, yes. yes. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, we're happy. We have physical stores. Let us know. I think we can set up something pr- after. Ay, aabangan ko uh-huh. yan, sir. Ah. Ay, then, uh, ko. <laughs> I, I think it will match I can give you uh, the, 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 the product that Kali oh. had uh, with, the, sure. with the brand. Is it Marikina made kasi siya. So it's really nice. support local. So malapit yes. din talaga sa puso natin. So it's natin going to be Calder Brand X Godfather Shoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, so, yes. Yung mga gumagawa ng Calda brand sa Pilipinas din for sure, right? Yes, in Laguna lang po. There's a community so, of weavers there. In Where? Binyan po. Okay, I'm Binyan. from Cabuyao, so that's only two uh, towns away. So 
Uh, yes. Ang galing talaga kasi natutulungan pa yung mga taga Laguna because of the business si, of Kara. Sino bang taga Binyan? Si ano, di ba? Si Nikki? Nikki is from yes. Binyan or Mon- yes, Nikki? Yes, kuya. Nikki. Ate Nikki is from Binyan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Galing. Isa galing yung memory mo. Grabe. Bros and uh, Miss Kali and of course Miss Dimples, if there are two things to take away from this interview, nagsisimula talaga ang galing ng mga bata sa pamilya, sa mga magulang. Talagang kapag nagabayan na maayos, nabigyan ng pagmamahal, na ituro yung pagmamahal sa kapwa, sigurado magiging magaling, sigurado magiging mabuti silang mga citizens. And of course, yung mga bata, kailangan din marunong makinig sa ating mga magulang. Again, thank you so much, Ms. Dimples Romana, and of course, thank Ms. Kali Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, little star. Ako pa lang ako pinagpili mo ako doon sa bahay. I'm a girlfriend who kiss you on the desk, po. Eh! Batang to. Bros. Ako na nga. What I'm serious. Bros, maraming salamat din sa'yo. And to our bros and to our sis, I thank you so much for always listening to The Bro Show. My name is DJ Dudes, and I am always reminding you to work hard, to be kind, to pray harder. Amazing things from God will definitely happen. Please enjoy the weekend, and God bless everyone.